Why would I upgrade my Ritchie Ascent to a 10-speed drivetrain? Initially, I set it up with a 1x8 drivetrain with an 11 to 40 tooth cassette. Now I'm going to bump that up to an 11 to 46 10 speed cassette. This Sunrace one was hard to resist. They're super awesome and pretty affordable. Love that red. You see, with the 8 speed, it ran great. I really quite like it. It's now on the Raleigh Chill. But I found myself wanting just a few more options on the high end to get my cadence just right. And I'm hoping with this 10 speed cassette that I'll, I'll see that. And in the ride I'd done, it felt quite good. I had more options and it rode super smooth. With that 10 speed cassette, I also wanted to upgrade the rear derailleur. So Microshift just recently came out with their new Microshift Advent X or 10, which is a clutched 10 speed rear derailleur. It's made to work with 11 to 48 teeth. And so I should be just fine with this 11 to 46. Also with that clutch, it should help prevent chain slap and chain drop with this one by drivetrain. I noticed also that there appeared to be enough room in the range of the rear derailleur to accommodate possibly 11 or 12 speeds also. I'm not sure what they set it up for, but I had to set the limit screws, especially on that high end, to just fit with the 10 gears. With that rear derailleur on, it's time to talk about the, the front chain ring. By upping the gear ratio on the back from 11 to 46, I needed a new chain ring. With the 34 tooth in the front before, I was able to maintain the same gear ratios, actually even a little easier gear ratio with the 46 by going up to a 38 tooth front chain ring. I went with an oval also, which this wolf tooth oval chain ring I had to install upside down a little bit, just because of the way the five arms on the, the Ritchie Logic cranks were set up. But with this oval, it really smooths out the climbs and the pedaling cadence. I've been running an oval chain ring on my Kona and I really notice a difference in my ability to climb with that oval. And so I installed one here and it really, really does smooth things out. And with that 38 tooth chain ring up front and the 46 in the back, it's just a perfect, nice and smooth, easy climb gear for me without making it too easy. Now, with all that done in the back, I needed to update the thummy in the front. And what's awesome about the Paul thummy adapter, it's a micro shift thummy adapter, all I have to do to upgrade to 10 speeds is to just get a new 10 speed 
thumb shifter and install it right on the same mount. As far as thummy goes, these micro shift thummies are at least the best I've ever tried. I think they've really refined the thummy shifter and the movement and actuation is just perfect. And they look awesome, especially with the Paul's components. And with that, it's running super smooth. I'm really stoked with how well that oval chain ring, the 10 speed cassette, the Advent X, and the thummy all work well together. It's really rejuvenated this 80s Richie Ascent. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Look for opportunities to give those old things a new life, and I will see you on the next video. Ciao. Don't rely on others to get you through their maze. The dreams are not the same for me. Standing by the shore, while you're on the open sea. Not take this anymore. Cannot take this anymore.